Hey, and welcome to the premiere! <laughs> Alright, so we are here, the final battle for the Ruby episode. So, uh, last time we had the little redemption arc with Wyatt, just like redemption of our attitude and just kind of a character reflection arc is kind of what I would put it as. So, you know, Wyatt is realizing that she can't be split and Brady kind of has to just trust other people's judgments and then trust in them as a team. And then we're getting the part where Jean's getting bullied right now by Cardin and him kind of realize, I think he realizes he has to stand up or at least he realizes he has people who can help him. So Pierre tried reaching out to John and he pushed her away and that's kind of where we ended. Oh, and then Cardin found out exactly what John uh, uh, is how he faked getting into Beacon. So we're kind of getting a development on that. So, um, one thing I do want to say, the shirt I wore in the last recording was horrible, okay? I'm going to be like some, like some really huge fat guy. Did not like that at all. <laughs> so, not wrong with that for anybody else. For me, I'm not, I'm more, okay, I'm going to stop talking. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what is going on the road here. Uh, thanks for coming to the premiere. Hi guys down in the comments. Hope you enjoy your, hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so we're getting... I don't hear anything. John gets home so late? Oh, it's right now it's not working for me. Brother. Hold on. That's weird. Doesn't he know we have a field trip tomorrow? Okay. We need our quest. I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Ooh. Mm, I guess so. That one's upset. Hey, John. <laughs> Long time no see. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> Got it. So, where have you been lately? I, uh... I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now Cardin's got me on a leash, and Kira won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school is a bad idea. What did I miss? Oh, wait, did that just happen? I'm a failure. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Leader, you know, John. nope. <laughs> You're not allowed to be a failure. But... What if I'm a failure at being a leader? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you know, you're not the easiest person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. <laughs> John, maybe you were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <laughs> but you can't be one now. Yeah. You know why? You had a different uh, calling. Because... Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, John. We both do. Mm -hmm. And if we fail, then... We'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first and ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. And I think that can be you. Have a good night, Jean. I love this Ruby rewatch so much. <laughs> uh uh. Hey, it's your buddy Cardin. I know you're probably busy with that dust project I gave you, but I'm gonna need you to go out and get me a bag of rapier. Uh, and make sure they've got some really big stingers. It's important, so don't screw this up. Where's Han? This needs to stop this episode. I'm just saying this. This episode it needs to stop. I'm getting irritated. <laughs> not just and not just at Cardin, but also at Jean. It is indeed beautiful, but we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest. And I'm going to make Peach? sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, this forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure creatures to stay Creatures of Grimm. I love how they, that's how they back here at four refer to them as the creatures of Grimm, which is Come so on, cool. Buddy. Let's go. Oh, Cardin, you douche. Where's your friend, John? Just call out for help. Be a leader, not a... Oh. No, I have to be patient. Oh. Uh, hey, great work, Johnny boy. Now that was too hard. Oh, dude, it's voice crack. I think I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, great, great. So, John... I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Cardin ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? 
That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today. <laughs> one of the many. Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. Sean mm. reminds me of one of my older friends I had and a little bit of Joey Wheeler. Mm. Is she eating it? <laughs> Cardin, what's going on? Hey, back. Pira? What are you... That's the girl. Red-haired, know-it-all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. Last night, old John here managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps. And now, we're going to put him to work. <laughs> now, according oh, to one of the essays you wrote me last week, these nasty things love sweets. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. He stops us, right? Do, it. do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch, and you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. Yeah, what happened to the whole friend thing, right? Don't. Right, there's some things you do you can't go back on. No. What did you say? I said no. <laughs> uh -oh. You've done it now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know that wasn't very smart, Johnny boy. Man, this dude's just a straight I'm sure. Sure send you back to mommy in teeny tiny pieces. Oh. I don't care what you do to me. But you are not messing with my team. What? You think talk like that makes you tough? You think you're a big, strong man now? He activated his aura. Let's see how much of a man you really are. <laughs> Ooh, Grizzly Grim. <laughs> I don't know any of their names. I'm just giving them my own names. Mmm, Carter, you smell delicious. That's a big Ursa. Oh, that's right. Their names were in the other episodes. Whatever, Grizzly Grim. I'd keep one. If I do, it wasn't full of evil and trying to kill me. <laughs> Get that out of here, boy. What you trying to do with that? <laughs> I ain't gonna do none. Did you guys hear that? Ursa! Ursa! What? Where? Back there! It's got Carden! Who cares about Carden? John! Okay, yeah, there you go. Yang, you and Blake, go get Professor Goodwitch. You two, go with them. There could be more. <laughs> oh. I think it's not let him do dude, dude go. Crap, crap, crap. Oh no. It's time to stand up. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. He like he knew it was in the red, but didn't care. <laughs> I forgot he did that. I somehow remember the part where she helps him. What? How did you? Well, her semblance. Ruby has her speed. You have your glyph. My semblance is polarity. Oh, you can control poles. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ruby. 
Dude, why is dude a Necosaurus Rex? Don't ever mess with my team, my friends, ever again. <laughs> Got it? Yo. <laughs> Alright, there we go. See, I forgot this part, and it feels good with the rewatch. <laughs> I would love this series to be remastered with the um, newer animation. Like, really. Pira, I'm sorry. I was a jerk. You were only trying to be nice, and I, I had all this stupid macho stuff in my head. John, it's okay. <laughs> Your team really misses their leader, you know. You should come down. Ren made pancakes. <laughs> no syrup, though. You can thank Nora for that. Yeah, that makes Wait. sense. I know I don't deserve it after all that happened, but would you still be willing to help me? To help me become a better fighter? <laughs> hey, your stance is all wrong. <laughs> You need to be wider and lower to the ground. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, the start of something amazing that'll continue for seasons to come. Stupid docks. Oh, they smell like fish. I've heard that students visiting from Vacua will be arriving by ship today. And as a representative of Beacon, I feel as though it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. Nah, she saw that royalty she princess. She wants to spy on them, so she'll have the upper hand in the tournament. Oh, you can't prove that. <laughs> How quick she turned. Isn't that the shop Ruby went to at the beginning? No, it's a different one. What happened here? Robbery. Second dust shop to be hit this week. The place is turning into a jungle. Oh my god, it's uh... It's terrible. It's uh... They left all the money again. Forgot the guy from Red vs. Blue. Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. Who needs that much dust? I don't know. An army? You thinking the uh... White Fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. Hmm. The White Fang. What an awful bunch of degenerates. Uh -oh. What's your problem? My problem? I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. They're a collection of misguided faunists. Misguided? They want to wipe humanity off the face of the planet. So then they're very misguided. Mm. Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. I don't really see them as misguided. I mean, you have choices in life. Point? and Besides Or else if you're blind or not, you have your own consciousness to back you up. Ago? Maybe it was him. That still doesn't change the fact that the White Fang are a bunch of scum. Those faunas only know how to lie, cheat, and steal. Oof. That's not necessarily true. Right. Hey, stop that faunas! Oh, yeah. Thanks for the ride, guys! <laughs> Animation. Ooh. You no good stowaway. It's Max from Camp Camp. <laughs> hey! No good stowaway would have been caught. I'm a great stowaway. Hey, get down from there this instant. Oh, 
That's so cool. I can't wait. I hope we see Sun in the next season. Well, never mind. Mm -hmm. The way it ended. <laughs> well, I, I shipped the two. The competition. And there it goes. <laughs> Quick, we have to observe him! <laughs> Oh! <gasps> How did you know it was this episode? No. I already saw the orange hair. I know who it is. Uh, Penny. Weiss. Ah. Salutations. <laughs> um, hello. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. <laughs> She's just laying on the ground. Do you want to get up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Penny. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I like the reaction Penny. time from them. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. That was amazing. Like, are you sure you didn't hit your head? Oh, I'm Yang. It's a pleasure to meet you. You already said that. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> well, sorry for running into you. Take care, friend. Oh, she called her friend. That's what this is from. She was weird. Now, where did that Faunus Riffraff run off to? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. <laughs> no, not you. You. Me? Uh, I, I don't know I, what I, um, uh... You called me friend. Am I really your friend? Aww. Um... How do I? I'm getting a little emotional just kind of knowing, like, sure. the current I seasons is what we got with her. <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about it's Like she's just so much fun. Is this what it was like when you met me? No. She seems far more coordinated. So, <laughs> what are you doing in jail? I'm here to fight in the tournament. Wait. You're fighting in the tournament? I'm combat ready. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you were here for the tournament, that I would love that. that monkey tailed scallion? That was like thumbnail worthy. The filthy fawn is from the boat. Why do you keep saying that? Huh? Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. He's a person. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to stop referring to the trash can as a trash can or this lamppost as a lamppost? Oof. Stop it. Stop what? He clearly broke the law. Give him time. He'll probably join up That's right, because it's like it's obvious Blake's like a fondest since you know fondest exists in the show. Oof. <laughs> Strutting off her stuff. How dare you talk to me like that? I am your teammate. You are a judgmental little girl. What in the world makes you say that? Uh, fact I think that we should probably go. Where are we going? <laughs> Betty. Makes you just as much of a scoundrel as you believe him to be. So you admit it. The White Fang is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant and you know it. I don't understand why. Oh, they're still going at it even though they get back to the dorm. That is the problem. Do you realize you're defending an organization that hates humanity, don't you? The faunus of the White Fang are pure evil. There's no such thing as pure evil. <laughs> Salem. Because of people like <coughs> you, people like you that force the White Fang to take such drastic measures. People like me? You're discriminatory. I'm a victim. You want to know why I despise the White Fang? Why I don't particularly trust the Faunus? It's because they've been at war with my family for years. War as an actual bloodshed. My grandfather's company has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear. Board members executed. An entire train car full of dust stolen. Ooh. And every day, my father would come home furious. And that made for a very difficult childhood. Weiss, I... No! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? It's because they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers. Well, maybe we were just tired of being pushed around. Uh. 
Oh, that would give me goosebumps. I... Wait! Wait! Come back! The thing is, is that, like... I get Weiss's point, and the thing is, she's mostly saying White Fang. She's not saying all Faunus. She just despises White Fang, but then she does have parts where she contradicts herself and compares them to all Faunuses, like with Sun earlier. Um, damn it, I keep spoiling names. <laughs> I'm sorry if anyone knew is watching this. Oh yeah, I guess I do that. You know, it's a Ruby rewatch. It's on you. <laughs> I slip. Yep. Yeah, this is so obvious that she's a faunus herself for the longest time. Kitty cat. I knew you would look better without the bow. <laughs> but also, like. Blake side of it, she thought the White Fangs were people that could just liberate themselves and stand up for the Faunus from the discrimination they're suffering and this, the remarks that they receive, and, you know, she believed in that, and then that was betrayed by the leader of the Fang and why she left. Blake's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. Weiss, come on. She's one of our teammates. Is she? We all heard what she said. Weiss, maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Either way, she's missing, and we need to find her. Well, she's, she's never given them really reason to doubt right, them, so roses. why don't you just question she's about it? She's okay. So, you want to know more about me? Oh, okay. And that's how you end the episode. Finally, she speaks. <laughs> Nearly two days and you've given me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's a Faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You were a member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Wow. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans Kitty and the Kitty cats. <laughs> of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Some of these stories usually go. The still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. Wow, she was that young. Every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down, and a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. It's more like the so Red Fang. Like it's like the White Fang was peace, and then the Red being, like, bloodshed. And refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from companies that used bonus labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect. Out of fear. Out of fear. So, I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence, and instead I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. <laughs> so here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, all with the help of a little black bow. So, have you told your friends any of this? I can't tell if she can hear him or we were just transitioning over. All right. Oh, you know who might be able to help? The police. I knew it. <sighs> right? It was just an idea. Yeah, bad one. <laughs> Boys, I think we should hear her Ruby. side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. Thank you, Yang. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. <laughs> right? Hey, guys. What are you That <laughs> transition, though. Uh, we're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait. How did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a... Oh. Bow. <laughs> like, like, we didn't really know. She does like tuna a lot. So, <laughs> Ruby, don't know. She's my favorite character. Society. That's terrible. Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really. Right, guys? Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Look how their outlines were their colors. It sure is windy today. 
So, what's the plan now? These little jokes are great. I still don't believe the White Fang is behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. So dust, right? a dust company. The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Atlas. Big shiny company freighter. You're sure? Thanks anyways. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Well, I'm confused. Like, I aren't do. they in school? Or? I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. Mm. So, not true. Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. <laughs> but why? <sighs> well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. <gasps> is she a man? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Oh, that kind of hit deep. Exactly how I feel. Oh, Penny, you're amazing. Schnee dust. Did I miss anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates Limes, from the boat. Melons. Apples. They're just sitting there. Grapes. Cool. I stole you some food. Yes, apples. You always break the law without a second thought. Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? <laughs> Okay, too soon. <laughs> it's three, bro. <laughs> Weren't you in a cult or something? That's hilarious. <laughs> Love, son. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that anytime soon. Just Drake called her out. Yes, it's them. All right, grab the tow cable. You really didn't think they were behind it. I, I'm writing that down, too. I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey! What's the hold up? We're not exactly the most inconspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment. Torchwick. So, why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? This isn't right. The White Fang would never work with a human. Especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? Blake, you can't just... By yourself. No, you idiot. This isn't a leash? What the? Oh, for Nobody <laughs> George was just like, are you kidding me? Whoa, take it easy there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why are you eating this scum? <laughs> oh, kid, didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. Tartrick is so cool. He's like, he's bad. He wants his, he wanted his revenge on the world for some reason. Oh. Okay, we get some animation, we get some fighting right now. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh! Face stomp! Leave her alone. Let's go, son! <laughs> Literally, let's go, son! I forgot the volumes always end with amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't these all like done like by actual people at the time too? At the beginning, I think. And then later on they started animating it? Or the other way around. Ooh, Torchwood got skill though too! Ooh! Oh! I FORGOT HIS DO THAT! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> that 
that was sick. You can shoot and nunchuck and staff it. Oh, remember me? Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, are these people your friends? Penny, get back. Oh, direct shot. Thanks, so. Aura, though. She was. Uh oh. Penny, wait! Stop! Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready. I'm combat ready. <laughs> About to make that a catchphrase somewhere. Ooh. That was sick. It was like a demon wind shuriken. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> what? This is still volume one, right? <laughs> I'm not on like five or six. This is. This is amazing. Because I did not remember her doing all of this. Oh, how is she doing that? These kids just keep getting weird. <laughs> it's like I ain't dealing with that. Not today. Nah. <laughs> That was hilarious. Torchwick didn't know me out. <laughs> Look, Lace, it's not what you think. She explained the whole thing. You see, she doesn't actually wear a bow. She has kitty ears, and they're actually kind of cute. <laughs> I love Ruby. <laughs> Lace, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with Stop. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? Oh, she had time to reflect. 12 hours. That means I've had 12 hours to think about this. Mm -hmm. And in that 12 hours, I've decided... I don't care. You don't care? Aww. You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was younger. Up, 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 up. I don't want to hear it. <sighs> All I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up... You call us. You'll come to your teammates. And not some... Someone else. Called it second in command wise. It'd be perfect. Oh. Yeah, Team Ruby is back together. <laughs> I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. Uh. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Penny, your time will come. Hmm. Team Queen has pawns. Hmm. Oh. That's crazy. I'm putting that down over here. How very disappointing, Roman. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. I'm in torture. We were expecting more from you. Hey, you were the ones who suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. And you will continue to do so. We have big plans for you, Roman. All we ask is a Look little... how anime he looks. <sighs> okay, so volume one is done. Okay. <sighs> It had an explosive ending that I greatly enjoyed as far as, like, the dynamic. Because we didn't just start with the fun and stuff. We got the part where we finished with John. And John, like, having a redemption. And, like, him stepping up as a leader and no longer being bullied. Like, you know, John's a kind person, too. Because he could have just left Cardin. But you could tell John is kind and really nice with what he does. And just, he stood up, protected Cardin. And then opened up to Pierre and apologized and got to working with her. And then from there, then we get the whole... I guess, like, the mini White Fang reveal arc? <laughs> I don't know. But just, you know, Blake, obviously, made to her team. She's a White Fang. And when she says we, 
they all get the thought of what she's a faunus, and then they don't realize what kind of faunus she is. And it takes Penny to show who it is. And I say Penny like that because I'm excited to see her. I love seeing the old Penny. I prefer new Penny way more, though. That's that's just, that's just you know what? I'm still saying things that are part of the future. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say it now. I'm going to say it next video. It's a rewatch whenever I say comes out because I'm sorry. I'm done being conscious about that. Like, it's a rewatch. I, I I may say some things. I think I said the other episodes. It's just I feel bad if I say too much when I don't need to. But, you know, if you want to rewatch it with me to get my fun reactions of, of a regular man, person thing, then that's what you can watch these for. <laughs> um, that was so cool at the very end when they're taking on Torchwick and the other Fonduses and just saw, like, Blake coming in there with her amazing speed, but then Torchwick was just like, get off me, and then Sun showed up and he started doing different things too. That was cool. Uh, and then Penny just, I didn't, I didn't remember her taking down ships. She was just, just a, like, what? I wasn't ready for that again. Like, like I know what she does later on, but seeing this, this animation and style, you're just not ready for that. And it's just, it's so good. It's so cool. And like I said, I think I remember somebody had mentioned to me that, like, this part with, like, Sun, and when he's, like, moving and fighting, like, it's all choreographed in real life, where later on they just start animating everything, or I think it's the other way around. I'm not completely sure. I'd have to probably go look at that later on, but <sighs> that was that was a ride. That was so cool. That was such a ride. <laughs> so, um, but all right. Well, that is it for me here. Um yeah, that was that was really crazy just to be able to watch this. So I'm so glad we finally made it through Volume One. Uh, volume Two definitely gonna be coming the next Monday. There's no reason to stop. I got content and nothing's in my way, especially with the new schedule coming through. And I already have a new thumbnail for Volume Two, so I'm like already set as far as I want. I super like the fact that I get to stand and watch this whole thing now, and like the more energy and more room to move, laugh, and just get it pumped up. Oh, it feels so good. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to follow me because we're going through the entire Ruby series up to volume um, 7, which is the latest one. I'm not doing 7 only because I've already... I'm going to watch that in my own time again, but I've already watched it on Captain KG's channel. His link is also in the description. Please subscribe to him as we have joint projects of Camp Camp and Red vs. Blue going on there. Red vs. Blue Wednesdays, Camp Camp Saturdays, and then when Ruby comes back for Volume 8, we're going to be on there as well. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram just to talk with me, see what I retweet, talking about different animes, different shows, worldly events, you know, just being a person. But also, I'd like to talk to more people, get to know more of you. So, hope you enjoyed this premiere. This is a long episode, already about to hit the 38 minute mark. That's crazy. Hope you all have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you next time when we watch the fray. Peace out.